You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. Yo, yo, your shredded brother from another mother. And if you want to grow huge triceps with light dumbbells only, you just found the perfect video. So I'm going to dive into five amazing tricep exercises. And I'm going to do the entire workout with just 15 pound dumbbells. And you can totally build muscle mass fast using light dumbbells only. If you only have a pair of light dumbbells or you want an easy tricep workout to do at home, this is a perfect routine. Now, this is day number six of arms every single day. If you missed the first five episodes, I'm gonna throw that in the description below and let's get the party started. So this whole tricep workout took me about 12 total minutes, two total sets, five different exercises, and today's weapon of choice is some 15 pound dumbbells. So every single exercise in this workout, I use 15 pound dumbbells. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. This exercise I prefer over the standing version because you're really fixed in position. The contraction is a little bit stronger on the concentric part. So you wanna make sure you set up a bench on an incline right around 45 degrees. Your knees are gonna be actually elevated on that bench and you wanna keep your elbows nice and high throughout the entire set. So keep those elbows nice and high and you're literally just bending at the elbow, uh, kicking that dumbbell back. So you're gonna feel a really strong contraction on the concentric part. I recommend you go anywhere between 12 to 15 rep range on this. You really focus on a nice hard contraction on the concentric part and you guys are gonna really feel this in your triceps. Keep those rest times really short on these light dumbbell workouts. No more than 60 seconds. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. Very important that you don't just go right to your forehead on this. You're actually angling those arms back so you're stretching the long head of the triceps. Now, since I can go very heavy on this exercise, when I'm doing a light dumbbell only tricep workout, I will go for 30 to 40 repetitions on this. Now, can you build muscle doing 30, 40 rep ranges? Of course, it's a different rep range that your body is used to. The main part is that you're going until close to failure or all out failure. Now, I believe Brian Humiston just made a video on what will happen if you do 100 reps. And the punch on the video is if you do 100 rep sets, you're gonna build muscle. I totally agree with this because you're doing a completely different rep range than your body's accustomed to. And remember, your body is an adaptation machine. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. So the third tricep exercise, you're gonna have that bench in the exact same position. Now this move is a little bit more challenging, so I prefer to do it after I really fatigue and go high rep on the regular incline kickbacks. Now with this one, the only difference is you're rotating your palms out on the concentric part. So instead of keeping your hands in a hammer grip position, you're actually rotating your palms out. This move is challenging, so you're not gonna be able to go as heavy, but since it's a light dumbbell only arm workout, what I recommend you do is you just do less reps on this move than you do on the previous move. So it's great because I was actually failing in the 15 rep range on this exercise, which is 15 pound dumbbells, where on the previous exercise, I could do 30 to 40 repetitions, no problem until failure. So it's much more challenging, but I recommend you actually use the same weight that you did the previous exercise. Just pick a different rep range, because once again, it's a lot harder of a move. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. Fourth exercise is standing dumbbell incline kickback. But once again, we're gonna rotate our hands on the concentric part of the rep. So on the traditional dumbbell kickback, what you're doing is you are just keeping your hands sort of in a neutral hamburger position. You're going right back. Now the big difference with this one is your palms are gonna rotate. So imagine your palms rotating from a hammer grip, neutral grip position to your palms completely rotating where they're facing the wall behind you. So this little twist of the palms and the wrists is gonna hit more long head to make the exercise a lot more challenging, trigger a little bit different activations. I would say this one's a little bit more challenging than a traditional dumbbell tricep kickback. So I was doing 12 to 15 rep range with 15 pound dumbbells on this workout. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. So the fifth exercise of the workout is going to be on a flat bench. You're going to do skull crushes. Now there's no rotation of the wrist or palm 
on this exercise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your hands in the neutral grip on the eccentric portion, you're not going right down to your forehead, you're actually angled back. So the dumbbells are going slightly behind your head to get a better stretch. And you're gonna go high rep until failure on this. So if you only have, say, a light pair of dumbbells at home, say it's 10 pounds and you can do 50 reps, I want you to do 50 reps. Once again, just because it's 50, 60, 70 reps does not mean you cannot build muscle from it. Of course, lift heavy if you have access to heavy weights. But on this workout, just to do a light dumbbell only tricep workout, can be really effective to shock your arms into some growth because it's something that your body has not done before. After going high rep until failure on the dumbbell flat bench skull crush, I did some diamond push-ups until failure. So obviously pre-fatigue triceps makes it a lot more challenging. Anytime you put your hands on a closer grip doing push-ups, it's gonna favor more triceps and less chest. So doing some diamond push-ups is really a great superset for any single tricep exercise, but I threw it in at the very end of the workout right after I did some dumbbell skull crush. So I'm about to take some superhuman protein. So this is my go-to post-workout protein. Today I'm rocking PB and Gain. So this is peanut butter candy flavored. Tastes like Reese's Pieces. Actually has a little tiny inclusion, like Reese's Pieces like candies in it. Macros are amazing. So if you guys have not tried superhuman protein, make sure that you tap the link down in the description below or just go to elfline.com. There is important lessons to learn in every single one of the arms daily videos. Check that out down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. <laughs>